paano kunin ang quadratic equation given only the sum and the product of the roots o kaya roots lang ang given. Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matin po. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, we're going to talk about finding the quadratic equation giving the sum and product of the roots. Ayan. So if you can still remember yung topic natin last time about relationship of coefficients and the roots, nabanggit ko na ang about dito. So sabi ko doon, uh, there would come a time na ibibigay na features sa inyo ay yung sum tapos yung product and ipapahanap sa atin kung ano yung quadratic equation. Saan siya nang galing na quadratic equation? And this is the topic about it. So, pag-usapan na natin about dito. Ayan. So, dun din sa topic na tinutukoy ko, andoon din itong pattern na nakuha natin. Ayan. x squared minus the sum of the roots multiplied by x plus the product of the roots is equal to zero. So, etong pattern na to ang magpapadali ng buhay natin. So, kailangan sa ulo mo lang itong pattern na ito para makuha mo lang mas mabilis yung quadratic equation kapag ibinigay yung sum tapos yung product. Okay, wag na natin patagalin pa. Let's have our first example. Ayan. Find the quadratic equation with the sum and product of roots 7 and 12 respectively. So, may word na respectively. Ano ang ibig sabihin nun? Kapag may respectively, Ganito po siya i-analyze. So, dito sa problem, ang given ay sum and product. Tapos, may dalawa ding number na binanggit. 7 sa 12. Kapag may word na respectively, kung ano yung unang binanggit, dito, sa case natin ay sum. So, sum naman ang unang binanggit. Therefore, 7 din ang value ng sum na tinutukoy. Kasi siya din ang unang number na binanggit. So, since ang product, pangalawa, ang magiging value ng product natin yung pangalawang binanggit na number, and that is 12. So, ganun po siya i-analyze kapag may word na respectively. Ayan. So, sabi ko, ito yun, kukunin lang natin yung sum tapos yung product. So, since given na naman, obviously, given, sinabi dyan, ang sum ay 7, ang product ay 12. So, ganun lang, identify lang natin ano ba yung sum, ano ba yung product. Then, after that, napaka-simple po ng next step. So, kailangan mo lang sa ulo ito, etong pattern na ito, para mas mabilis natin makuha yung mismong equation. Bakit? After kasi nito, ipapalit mo lang dito yung sum of the roots. Gagawin mo lang itong 7. Itong nandito. At ito namang product of the roots, gagawin mo lang 12. Kasi siya ang uh, product na given sa atin sa problem. And by doing that, by substituting, ito yung lalabas. x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. And, mga kapatid, that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, ganun lang po kasimple. Lalong-lalo na kapag na-memorize niyo itong gantong formula. Ayan. So, hindi natin kailangan pang mag-work backwards. Kasi may, may times na ginagawa yung working backwards. So, hindi na. So, ito na lang ang gagawin natin. Just know this pattern and you're done. Ayan. Tapos na ang usapan. Ayan. Okay? Let's have another example. Find the quadratic equation with sum and product of roots 6 and 2 third respectively. Ayan. So, ito hindi po ito, ano ha, hindi ito mixed number. 6 and 2 third respectively. So, magkahiwala yung dalawa. So, ang tinutukoy dito, ang sum natin dyan ay 6 kasi siya ang unang binanggit. Tapos, ang product natin dyan ay 2 thirds kasi siya ang pangalaman binanggit. Because of this word respectively. Ayan. So, identify lang natin ano ba yung sum. Sum is 6, then product is 2 thirds. Then after that, yung pattern natin sa uluhin mo lang, ayan, x squared minus sum of the roots x plus product of the roots is equal to 0. Then after that, kung ano yung sum, ilagay mo doon. Kung ano yung product, ilagay mo din doon. And by doing that, ito yun. x squared minus 6x plus 2 thirds is equal to 0. Now, 
This is already quadratic equation. Okay na naman yan. But our teacher, uh, they will ask us na going integers lahat ng coefficients. And para mangyari yun, ganito lang po ang simple ang gagawin. Ayan. So, eto, etong buong equation na yan, para maging siyang integers lahat ng coefficients nila, we're just going to multiply that by the denominator. Ayan. Kung ano yung denominator natin, siya ang multiplier. But in the case na kapag dalawang fraction yung given, ang i-multiply natin ay LCD. But in this case, since isa lang naman ang denominator natin, so automatic siya na yung multiplier natin. So, multiply natin yung 3 sa both sides of the equation. Tandaan, kapag equation, kung anong gagawin sa left, gagawin mo rin sa right. So, let's do that. So, ganito ang mangyayari. Distribute natin yung 3 sa loob. 3 times x squared, 3x squared. 3 times negative 6, negative 18x. Tapos itong 3 times 2 third, ma-divide ma yung 3 dyan. So, magiging 1. Kasi may GCF yung 3 sa kayong 3, which is 3. So, magiging 1 na lang yan. So, 1 times 2 now is 2. Tapos over 1. 2 over 1 is just 1. So, tapos yung 3 times 0 is 0 lang din naman. So, eto yun. 3x squared minus 18x plus 2 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, ayan na. Okay na lahat. Lahat na ng coefficients natin ay integers. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. Alright, sige, let's have another para mas makuha pa. Hmm, paano kaya ito? Find the quadratic equation with roots of 9 and 3. Ayan, so be careful. Hindi sinabi na ang 9 ay sum at ang 3 ay product. Read the problem or the question carefully. So here, ang ibinigay sa atin ay yung roots mismo. Yung value mismo ng x sub 1 tapos x sub 2. Not the sum and the product. So, iba yung tanong kanina sa tanong this time. Ayan, so paano to? So, ganito lang naman ka, simple. Siyempre, yung pattern natin requires the sum and the product. So, what should we do for that? So, since sum and product na ang pinapahanap, ang gagawin lang dyan napakasimple. Eto, so kung ito yung dalawang roots, tiba para makuha yung sum of the roots, sum of the roots, ipagpa-plus mo lang ito. Pa-plus lang natin. So, that's 9 plus 3, right? And that is 12. So, ganun lang kasimple. Pag-plus mo lang. Kung hindi given yung sum, we can make a way na makuha yung sum by just adding that. Ayan. So, nakuha natin yung 12. Now, hindi rin given yung product. So, what should we do? Of course, we can also make a way na makuha yung product. And that will happen if you multiply 9 and 3. So, 9 times 3 po yun. Ayan. Kaya nakuha natin yung 27. And we have now this 12 and 27. So we can go to our pattern. Ito. Sa uluhin lang yan. Then pwede natin substitute. Yung sum magiging 12. Yung 27 dito yan sa product ilalagay. And by doing that, ito na yan. Ayan. So integers na ba lahat ng coefficients? Okay na naman. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. So ganun lang po kasimple ang topic natin for today. Now if you are ready... Let's have our humor drill. Ayan. So this time, I'll give you two items to answer. Find the quadratic equation with the sum and product of roots 5 over 9 and 4 respectively. For number 2, find the quadratic equation with roots of 24 and 6. Ayan. So I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So let us now answer number one. 
Ayan. So, here's problem number one. Find the quadratic equation with the sum and product of roots 5 over 9 and 4, respectively. So, again, identify mo lang muna ano yung sum, ano yung product. So, that's the first step. So, since may respectively ulit na given or na word na binanggit sa problem, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung unang binanggit, siya din yung unang value. Pangalawang binanggit, pangalawang value. So, sum is 5 over 9. So, ilagay mo doon. Then, product is 4. Ayan. So, be careful lang. So, napakadali ng lesson, pero you have to know itong mga basic na ito. Tignan mong mabuti kung ano ba yung tinutukoy na sum. Kung 5 over 9 ba? Baka kasi, may interchange mo yung value ng dalawa. So, sayang naman. Ayan. Then, after that, ito na yung pattern natin. Kunin. Then, substitute lang natin dito sa sum of the roots and product of the roots. So, for sum, that's 5 over 9. Then, for product, that's 4. Ayan. So, by doing that, ito yung lalabas. Okay, x squared minus 5 over 9, x plus 4 is equal to 0. Ayan. Now, gusto natin integers ang coefficients. So, that will happen only if we're going to multiply 9 to both sides of the equation. Bakit po 9? Kasi siya lang yung kaya sa isang denominator dito. Again, if may case na parehong fraction si sum sa si product, that is the time na kukunin mo ang LCD. Ayan. So, in this case, since ito lang naman, isang fraction lang, multiply tayo ng 9 to both sides of the equation. Yan, 9 sa left, 9 sa right, that means multiplication. So, multiply lang natin. 9 times x squared, 9x squared. Tapos, 9 times negative 5 over 9, ito na naman. So, didivide lang natin yung 9 kasi nga, ano siya, uh, may GCF na 9. So, divide by 9, divide by 9, magiging 1 na lang to. 1 times 5, magiging 5 over 1. So, kaya 5 na lang yan. So, negative 5, x. Tapos, 9 times positive 4, that's positive 36. Tapos, din sa right, 9 times 0 is 0. So, ito yung kalalabasan na quadratic equation natin. 9x squared minus 5x plus 36 is equal to 0. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, let's have question number 2. Find the quadratic equation with roots of 24 and 6. Ayan. So, take note of the problem. Hindi sinabi na ang 24 ay sum. Hindi rin sinabi na ang 6 ay product. So, be careful with that. Roots lang ang ibinigay. Yung mismang value na x sub 1 tapos x sub 2. So, but we can find a way para makuha yung sum and product. Alright. So, sum and product. So, kapag sum, ipag-plus natin yung roots. Right? So, plus natin yung dalawa. 24 plus 6, that's 30. Again, wag po magmamadali para makuha natin yung tamang sagot. So, read and read and read, analyze, analyze, analyze yung problem. Kasi, madali yung topic, but you have to be careful with the details. Alamin nyo kung ano bang ibinigay, anong ibinigay na given. Ayan. So, ito. Baka kasi sa kamamadali, ang ginawa natin naging sum yung 24, naging product yung 6. So, mamamali tayo dun sa sinasagot na natin. And so, ito ay 30. So, correct yan. Next, so, hindi rin given yung product, but we can still find a way for it to have or for us to have the product. Just multiply 24 and 6. Ayan. So, that's 144. Tapos, the pattern. Ayan. Then, substitute lang natin. x squared minus 30x. Okay, 30 yon dyan. Tapos, 144 doon sa product. So, this is now the final answer. Ayan. Alright, so that's how you deal with this kind of problems. Kapag given lang yung roots o kaya given yung sum and product of the roots. And we are tasked to find the quadratic equation. Ayan, so thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've learned something today. And I want to see you on our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to for to forget. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa Humor PH. And please do share this to your friends as well to the parents who needs this lesson the most. And don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag Humor PH. Bye-bye. See you in our next video.